Hello and welcome, this is Greg French. Today we're going to be talking about a utility called NetStat. This is a utility uh, that is a part of Windows. We're going to show you how to start it up and give you some more information about it. Uh, before we get started, I want to uh, draw your attention to ComputerRepairTrainingPlus.com. This is a website that we've set up. It has some additional uh, resources that you might find helpful. Uh, let's get started. Uh, learning objectives. We're going to learn uh, how to monitor network connections uh, using NetStat. NetStat will show you if you have any TCP or UDP connections. Uh, this can be very helpful if your computer is running a little bit slow and you've got some processes running and you're not sure what they are. Uh, you might use uh, NetStat to see if you have some connections to the uh, to the network or the internet and then you might do some uh, investigation to find out what these processes are. Uh, again, we'll learn that there's some NetStat commands that we're going to use or switches called uh, A, N, and O. We're going to tell you a little bit about those and we'll learn how to monitor the uh, PIDs. These are the process identifiers. When we find things uh, on, uh, we're going to use the process identifiers, these PIDs, to determine just what processes those are. Uh, first screen here. Uh, to get this uh, NetStat running, you're going to go down to your start button, go to run, type CMD, and then you'll get uh, your screen started here. This is your uh, command line screen. And then to get uh, NetStat started, we'll type in net, N-E-T, stat, S-T-A-T, just one word, space, dash, A-N-O, and then press enter. You should get a screen like this that shows that uh, if you're not connected to the internet, don't have any browsers open, you should get something like this that shows everything is just listening. There is no established connections. Over here in this column, you'll see these are the PIDs, and we'll talk about those in a minute. Now, if you're not, if you don't have any processes running, you can you can hit Control Alt Delete. This will bring up your task manager, and you can verify that you don't have anything running. You can look up here at your CPU usage. If it's at zero, uh, you can be assured that there's really no processes running. That's pretty much what you want to see uh, when your computer is just sitting idle. If again you have a lot of processes running, you might uh, want to investigate that to find out what those are. Uh, now I've just started AVG to do a background scan. You can see right away I've got some CPU usage and that would be normal. And again, as long as you know what's running, uh, you don't really have a problem. And we can run over to look over the processes here, go in the processes tab, and we can come down here and we can see that, hey, we've got AVG running and it's using about 54% of our CPU. So that's that's that looks okay. We could also see that there's a PID associated with that. Now, if you don't have your PID column uh, set here, you can go up here into your tab and uh, set that column so that you can see the PIDs. Now, here I started up Internet Explorer, and Internet Explorer is listed here along with a PID. Now, this PID is 1492, and if I come over here to my uh, NetStat, I should see on the side here I've got a bunch of 1492s uh, as processes and you notice here that they're all established. So I have a lot of TCP connections uh, with my Internet Explorer and that would be normal. Now as long as I'm running a browser or something that's going to be connecting to the Internet, I should see some established connections. But the problem you don't want to have is if you have some established connections and you don't know what those services are or what those processes are. You can come over here again at the, and find the PID and go back to your task manager and determine just what those processes are. If there's something you don't recognize, I would use a Google search and see if you can find some more information using Google. You don't want to have viruses or worms or any other uh, service that is connecting to the Internet that's dragging down your system and uh, possibly sending personal information off to the Internet, who knows where. Uh, in review, uh, NetStat, a nice utility uh, to monitor network connections to make sure you don't have any processes or worms or anything connecting to the network that shouldn't be connected. The commands we used, uh, A, N, and 0, uh, these were uh, going to give us the uh, TCP, UDP connections, along with uh, any PIDs or processes that we could identify. And that was the PIDs, your process identifiers. 
Uh, for activities, I want you to start uh, NetStat and monitor your network connections. Uh, you should have uh, no established connections. Then I want you to go ahead and start uh, IE, Internet Explorer, Firefox, and also AVG. And I want you to see uh, the appropriate PIDs that will be associated with those programs. I want you to be able to identify them using your task manager. Uh, there's a lab that's going to be uh, associated with this. I want you to run, uh, monitor your network connections, the processes, the performance. You'll see performance changes. Uh, you'll see CPU usage and other applications that are starting up taking some of that CPU. Uh, resource requirements. I uh, want you to go ahead and answer uh, the review questions that are associated with this lab and then turn those in. Uh, that's it for now. Thank you very much for your time.